Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and one of the accessories that came out together with the new DJI FPV drone is so-called motion controller. What's the motion controller, you might ask? Well, it's a wireless joystick that uses gyroscope to fly your drone. Something similar in the general idea what, for example, Nintendo Wii offered like 10 or 12 years ago. You know, a gyroscope, wireless link, you waving your hands in the air and something is happening. Cool, right? Uh, but what if we could make a do-it-yourself version of the motion controller that you could use to fly any drone you want? I'm here today to test if my do-it-yourself motion controller actually works. In a few moments I will connect this thing to my OpenTX radio, arm my Pyrx 7 FPV drone and just try to fly my drone with this thing. But before that let's make a cut and I will show you in details on the workbench how this thing is built, what it can do and what it cannot do yet in the current iteration. To make things nice and short, this is the first working prototype version of the do-it-yourself motion controller. 3D printed pistol grip, kinda feels nice in your hand, maybe not perfect but works just fine. The battery is for the future version where there will be a wireless communication with your radio. Over here is the TTGO LoRa32 ESP32 board. Yes, in this version this is wired and you have to plug into the uh, trainer port on your radio, but I do intend to make the wireless version using the LoRa modulation. It's doing some things more in the future, so let's just leave it like that. Two buttons one trigger under the index finger which well enables the whole device and the second over here that allows you to enable the gesture control for the your axis by default it's disabled due to the fact that the gyro drifts and without the accelerometer it's hard to keep the constant heading and the thumb joystick which right now is used for the throttle throttle up, throttle down, and as well as your movement. This joystick is probably right now the weakest point of the whole device. Why? Because it turns out that it has very little active movement range. If you move it slightly too far, it max out and it's total crap, and it's also slightly too big. So I'm waiting for the bigger replaced, smaller actually, smaller replacement joystick for the next working prototype. And now, um, gyroscope installed over here, GPS for the future releases, it's not used right now. And with this nice information of what goes well, let's go back to the field and let's see if this thing is really flying. Okay, it's hovering. Now let me flip the switch and let's see if this thing works. Yeah, baby! Amazing, look, look what I'm doing. I'm flying. Can I adjust the... Oh! Okay, the throttle adjustment is slightly too fast. And what about yo? Yo is also slightly too fast. But look, 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 I'm flying a drone wireless. Okay. <laughs> it's working. Look. Look what's happening. Ready? And I can even adjust the altitude a little. It's jumpy. Probably the gains are just too small. No, too high. But besides that, I'm flying. Let's see if your works. Yes! Come on, this is bloody amazing. I love it, I love it, I love it, I absolutely love it. I'm really impressed, really honestly guys, I'm 100% impressed because this thing is actually working. And it's even working slightly better than I expected originally. Something still needs to be adjusted, but yeah, look! Whee! Whee! 
Does it work? Hell bloody yes. It even worked better than I originally expected. I'm not sure if you saw that, but in the first flight, I always had my finger on the disarm switch to just drop that in case anything goes wrong. But first plus, this thing was really nicely controllable in the air. I was really afraid that in the air, it will you will be always losing a track, how this thing should be going and so on and so on. And the overall control of the UAV of the drone will be extremely limited. Turn out that, well, no, it's not. Uh, by default, I have right now on this thing the five degree dead band on the, on the gyros and accelerometers. I think I really should lower this value to even have more precise control. Second thing that worked, uh, uh, or maybe haven't worked, was that this, no, something that really worked. The decision to have your control separately on the thumb joystick over here and on the gyro on the z-axis of the device only if I press the button. Thanks to this I was able to walk without having to do any kind of the unintentional yaw adjustment and as a result it was really quite nice. What have what is not really working in this version yet are two things. First of all, it's wired to your OpenTX radio and thanks to this you cannot just leave the radio somewhere and go somewhere and, you know, just fly. Second of all, there is no possibility yet to disarm the drone from the device too bad in case something happens that well will be a problem however i intend to solve both of those problems but the third problem was the joystick over here turn out that those cheap arduino joystick you can buy from china from almost nothing are really piece of crap because the movement uh, when the potentiometer are really catching your positions are extremely limited and thanks to that the yes you can deflect the the stick quite a lot but it's more like zero one instead of a continuous movement so uh, i will lower the rates on the throttle and on the yaw on the joystick and i'm also waiting currently for just a better joystick for example the ones that are used on the i don't know psps or xbox controller when the range of the potentiometer really matches the full range of the uh, of the of the stick and what next? Um, for today's video, this is definitely over. I will start working on improvements on this thing. Uh, when In this moment, when you are seeing this video officially published, you can download the STL files for the 3D printed thingy. The code you have to flash to your ESP32 and as well a whole technical package. And if you want to have a do-it-yourself motion controller that can work with any drone, but it really makes sense if you have ultimate attitude hold and position hold only, then be my guest. Open TX serial trainer input and you can have something that works actually better than I originally expected. Yeah, so kudos for me. Thank you very much for watching and until the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> look, 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 I'm walking and this thing is holding altitude. And now turn and flying in my direction. I wonder how well is the image from the GoPro. Let's hope it's not that bad. You see? And now, left, up, up, slightly higher. Okay. And I'm not using my second hand. Yes, it's close to this arm in case of something happening. But besides that, bloody amazing! Bloody hell, you can actually fly this thing.
Okay, can you see I'm super happy because I am super happy. <laughs>